Hi y'all, Braze is back for another video in my series, My Favorite Things on the Appalachian Trail. In this video, I'm gonna go over my favorite views on the AT. From everything I've read and heard, it seems that a common misconception about the Appalachian Trail is that it is basically hiking through a green tunnel, but that is just absolutely inaccurate. There are a countless number of views along the Appalachian Trail. In fact, so many views that it was really hard to narrow down my favorites list. This particular list that I've put together for y'all today encompasses 20 of my favorite views. So I'm just gonna go over all of the favorite views on my hike and give you just a little bit of information about each view, including what mile marker it is at and the elevation. Now, keep in mind that the mile marker and the elevation that I am going to be giving you all for these views came from the Go Hook app. So if it is inaccurate, that came from GoHook. So I'll be starting in the south and going north with my views. Oh, and just to note that the GoHook northbound mileage that I'm going to be giving you all is based from 2020. So my first favorite view on the Appalachian Trail was Waya Bald. It is located in Franklin, North Carolina. It is at mile marker 119.5 at an elevation of 5,337 feet. It is a popular day hiking spot. There are restrooms, trash cans, and it was one of the first views that I got to see along the Appalachian Trail. My next favorite view on the AT was at Fontana Dam. It is located at mile marker 166.3 in Graham County, North Carolina. Fontana Dam is at an elevation of 1,685 feet and is the tallest dam in the Eastern United States. And I consider it a favorite view for me just because not only was it part of my through hike, but I've been to this location multiple times and I just love the view from here. I just think it's very beautiful and it just is the start of your hike into the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And it just has a lot of nostalgia for me and I just think it's beautiful. Heading north on the AT, entering into the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The first view that you'll come to in the Smokies is at the Shuck Stack Fire Tower. It is located at mile marker 171 in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It is at an elevation of 3,993 feet, and it is located 0.1 on a side trail from the Appalachian Trail. When you climb the fire tower, you will get 360 degree views looking over the Smoky Mountains and even to Fontana Lake. It is your first major view in the Smoky Mountains and you will even find chimney remains of an old fire warden's cabin. My next favorite view headed through the Smoky Mountains, which is not only one of my favorite views on the Appalachian Trail, but is also one of my favorite views in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It is called Rocky Top. It is located at mile marker 184.8 on the Appalachian Trail. It is at an elevation of 5,422 feet, and it is a sub-peak of Thunderhead Mountain. You'll get 360 degree views into Cades Cove, Fontana Lake, Cleanlands Dome, and this particular spot is known as the inspiration for the popular bluegrass song, Rocky Top, which has been the University of Tennessee's fight song since 1972. Up next is Max Patch, which is located in Madison County, North Carolina. It sits at mile marker 255.1 on the Appalachian Trail at an elevation of 4,615 feet. It is one of the most popular peaks in the Southern Appalachians. My next favorite view on the Appalachian Trail was actually one of my most favorite views along the whole AT. It was probably because I was not anticipating this view on the day that I hiked it. And when I reached the summit, it was just such a spectacular view and the weather was perfect. It's just something I still remember to this day. And that view is at Big Bald Mountain. It is located at mile marker 326.2 on the AT. It is at an elevation of 5,504 feet. And it is located between the border of North Carolina and Tennessee in the Cherokee National Forest. You can get 360 degree views of the Rhone Highlands, Great Craggy Mountains, Bald Mountains, Newfound Mountains. Jane Bald in the Rhone Highlands of Tennessee makes my next favorite view on the AT. 
It is located at mile marker 381.9 and at 5,807 feet, it showcases the amazing views of the Rhone Highlands. Big Hunt Mountain makes my next favorite view on the Appalachian Trail. It is located at mile marker 389.8 at an elevation of 5,559 feet. It is located in Elk Park, North Carolina in the Rhone Highlands near Bradley Gap. You can actually reach the Big Hunt Mountain. It's about five miles from the parking lot to the summit, but it is a tough five miles. I'm just going to tell you, but the views are spectacular. My next fave view on the AT was Sugar Run Mountain. One of the reasons that this view made my list is because of the time of year that I hiked it, which was in the winter and it was snowing. So on this day, as I was hiking through the snow, I decided to make the 0.1 side trip to the summit in hopes that I might get a wonderful snowy mountain view and I was not disappointed. Sugar Run Mountain is located at mile marker 623. It is a 0.1 side trail to get to the summit. It sits at an elevation of 4,040 feet and it overlooks the Wilburn Valley and Paris Mountain. My next favorite view on the AT is a fan favorite. I think I would say that most hikers say that this is also one of their favorite views, but that is McAfee Knob which is located in Salem, Virginia. It is at mile marker 714.2 on the AT, and it sits at an elevation of 3,156 feet. It is considered one of the most photographed places on the AT. And for me, it was an exciting moment. I had been hiking all day, and by the time I reached it, I was worried that the sun would have set and I would not get any views at this spot, but I was very lucky and fortunate and I ended up getting one of the most spectacular views I ever had on the AT. My next favorite spot on the Appalachia Trail doesn't actually have a name. It was just a section of the trail that I was hiking when I left out of Delville, Virginia. This rocky outcrop is located at mile marker 727.6 on the AT and it sits at an elevation of 1,935 feet. You can have views down into the Carbon Crop Reservoir. When I was hiking along the trail on my way to McAfee Knob, I passed this overlook and it was just to me so spectacular. I got the most amazing photo from it and I just could not not include it on my list of favorites. This next fave spot had to be included because I shared this view with my husband, Jerry, when he was hiking with me through Virginia on the AT. This spot is known as Raven Rocks. It is located at mile marker 1008.9 on the AT headed north. It sits at an elevation of 1,259 feet and is located in Clark County, Virginia. We had the most spectacular sunset ever at this spot and I will always remember it fondly. Brobley Mountain makes my next fave view on the AT. It is located at mile marker 1656.9 on the AT headed north. It sits at an elevation of 3,263 feet, and it's actually the home of a popular ski resort that's located in Peru, Vermont. I actually ended up staying at the warming hut that's located on top of the mountain. It is a fully enclosed open year round hut that's available for hikers to stay in all year. This night I stayed there ended up having one of the most beautiful sunsets along the trail and I was absolutely not disappointed. This particular day, I also reached 1500 miles hiked on the AT. Another fabulous view on the AT was called Airport Lookout. It's located in Clarendon, Vermont. It is at mile marker 1685.4 and it sits at an elevation of 1392 feet. You will have views down into Clarendon and the Taconic Mountains. It made the list of one of my favorite views because of the fall colors. My next favorite, other than Big Bald, was my other most favorite spot along the AT, and truthfully, probably my most favorite spot. And this was on the Freconia Ridge, the Lafayette Mountain. It is located in Grafton County, New Hampshire and it is considered the highest peak and the wise outside of the presidentials. It is also one of New England's 4,000 footers. It is located at mile marker 1826.3 at an elevation of 5,260 feet. It had some of the most spectacular views. Not only did it have 360 degree views, but it was just such a unique section of the trail and just completely unforgettable. It was so epic 
Another favorite for so many hikers, including myself, is Mount Washington in the presidential range of New Hampshire. Mount Washington is located at mile marker 1860.1 at an elevation of 6,288 feet. It is the highest peak in the Northeast of the United States. This particular section of the trail and this view has recorded winds over 200 miles an hour. It is considered one of the most dangerous places on the AT and it is known to even get snow in the summer months. You can actually get to Mount Washington by car or by cog railway, but there are numerous trails that you can take to reach the summit of Mount Washington, not necessarily just on the Appalachian Trail. But I was so excited that the day I summited Mount Washington that I got some of the most beautiful views on the AT. I had heard of leading up to this day and to this hike that Mount Washington only has like 50 days out of the entire year where it's clear. And this particular day, I got one of those days and I was so excited and happy. And it was an absolutely unforgettable moment and view. This next view is actually not a peak, but a lake. <laughs> and it made one of my favorite views list because first and foremost, the ponds that are located in Maine are amazing. And there were some of the most amazing sunsets on the trail during my hike, and this was no exception. Long Pond, which is also known as Great Pond, is located in Mount Desert, Maine. It is located in the Acadia National Park. Long Pond is located at mile marker 1962.8 at an elevation of 2,333 feet. On this particular day, I got another amazing sunset and it was just gorgeous. So it had to be included on my favorite views list. Saddleback Mountain, which is located in Wrangley, Maine, is another New England 4,000 footer and also one of my favorite views on the AT. It is located at mile marker 1978.3 at an elevation of 4,120 feet. It is home to one of three main ski resorts. It has the most extensive alpine zones in the state. It made one of my top views just because not only of the 360 degree views, but because I had done a flip-flop hike and I was going southbound, which means I started in Maine and I had not made it to New Hampshire yet. This was such a stunning view between the rocks and the alpine forest and just the views. It was absolutely amazing to me. And I got some pretty epic photos at this spot. Although I will say the winds were pretty crazy on this mountain. That is the only downside to some of these really high mountains is the fact that the winds are pretty strong because there's not any like trees to kind of block the wind. So it makes it even in the summer months difficult to spend a whole lot of time at the top of the mountain because the wind is pretty strong and cold. <laughs> Another lake makes my favorite views list, and that is Flagstaff Lake, which is located in Franklin County, Maine. It is located in mile marker 2022.7 on the AT, and it sits at an elevation of 1161 feet. I ended up camping with some other hikers along the beach, and the sunset views were absolutely amazing. The sunrise views were absolutely amazing. And just something about this particular spot and this lake, was just so beautiful, so surreal. I know I keep saying that I've had all of these like most favorite views on the trail, but again, this is another pretty favorite spot on the AT for several reasons. One of those being, it was my one and only time on my Appalachian Trail through hike where I cowboy camped. And that was a truly epic, amazing experience. I cowboy camped at the Barren Ledges. Barren Ledges is located near Monson, Maine. It is at mile marker 2,094.9, and it sits at an elevation of 1,997 feet. From this spot, you can see views of Bodfish Intervale, Borestone Mountain, Lake Onawa, and the top of Barren Mountain. But it made one of my favorite views because not only did I have one amazing sunset, although unfortunately I didn't get any photos of it because of the time, by the time we got there, it was already dark, but the sunrise was amazing. I got to have coffee and breakfast while sitting outside of my, in my sleeping bag and having some absolutely beautiful sunrise views. And it was just an incredible experience and I absolutely recommend doing some 
cowboy or in my case cowgirl camping on the AT. Because I was hiking southbound, the Bear Ledges view was my last night in the 100 mile wilderness and it was an epic and amazing last night. How no one could include this view in their favorite views on the AT list would be beyond me, but my last favorite view on the Appalachian Trail is Baxter Peak on Katahdin. Baxter Peak is located at mile marker 2,193 on the Appalachian Trail and it sits at an elevation of 5,267 feet. It is the highest point in Maine and is the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. Even though this was not my summit point on my hike, in fact it was actually a little under my halfway point, but it was the moment when I flip-flopped and turned and went from going northbound to southbound on the Appalachian Trail. So it was still a significant milestone for me and a very incredible memory. Reaching Baxter Peak on Mount Katahdin is just an amazing memory, I think, for any hiker hiking the trail, whether it's the start of your hike, the end of your hike, or the middle of your hike. And the views can be absolutely spectacular. I highly recommend if you are considering doing a hike up Mount Katahdin, that you make sure you do it on a nice day. Try to find a day where the weather will not be rainy or snowy, if at all possible, just so you can get those amazing views. They were truly epic. All right. That is my top 20 favorite views on the Appalachian Trail. There were countless more views that I got along the trail that I did not even include in this video. Tons and tons of views. There was a lot of views that I didn't even actually see on the trail. And so if you're worried about doing a through hike of the AT and whether or not you're going to get to really see anything, or is it just going to be an endless green tunnel? No fears. <laughs> there is plenty of views to be had. In fact, so many amazing, epic, wonderful views. And the wonderful thing about the AT is the variety. You can see not only amazing, epic views, but you get to also have the views of what it's like to hike a long trail um, and beneath a green tunnel, a rhododendron. I think hiking on the Appalachian Trail is completely worth it. And no matter what type of view you're getting, whether it's a spring, summer, fall, or winter view, I think you won't be disappointed. That concludes today's video. I will have another video in this series coming up in another week. So be sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for the next video. Until then, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all of your support. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And until the next video, see you again soon. Have a great day.